What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for checking out the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already yet, click the link down below. Join the Patreon for daily sports predictions. Every sport, we do it all. It's currently 10.50 as you see. This fight, main event fight, is left about an hour and some change away. Um, Israel versus Alex Pereira. Um, as you see here, I posted to the Patreon on my notes from August 6th, which was nearly, which was over three months ago. I figured why not share to YouTube what I got for this fight. Um, the odds have drastically changed now. Back when I did this, Israel was like minus 140, one, minus 150. Now he's like minus 220. Um, but the point of this is not to go and, you know, bet, but... The point is to show you what what I show you my notes, my thoughts, and you and for you to use your own uh, knowledge and judgment and make your own decisions. So here we go. Here's what I posted, guys. I said this is three months early, but I found a riddle I liked and want to share before it races from my mind. So Israel is twenty three and one in the MMA. He's twelve and one in UFC. Pereira is six and one in MMA, three and zero in the UFC. Israel can improve the twenty four and one. In MMA, 241 is the 53rd prime. Like how Israel Adesanya equals 53. See, 241 is the 53rd prime. Let me come over here to Jamatria and whenever I put in. Fifty-three. See that Israel got the fifty-three connection. And whenever I come over here to the Jamatria calculator and you type in. 241 like he can become 224 and 1 that's the 53rd prime like how he can improve the 24 and 1 when his name has the 53 connection notice he can get the 13 and 1 in ufc and he's defending his championship today championship has the 131 connection He is 0-2 all-time versus this Alex guy. They fought twice in kickboxing. Israel lost both. Notice this fight's taking place in MSG today. Like MSG equals 12. Like Israel can get the 1-2 and two versus Alex. This fight is 114 days after Israel's birthday. Alex Pereira equals 114. So that's, that's a perfect opponent to face. Alex... Pereira equals 114. Also, the pay-per-view is UFC 281 Israel Adesonia. Hold on. Let me see. I just want to copy it that way we have no spelling you know here it is this is what i want let me go here Let's see ufc 281 change it to reduced where it should be and now whenever you type out the pay-per-view title is ufc 281 adesanya versus Pereira, you get 131 like how it how like how israel can improve the 13 and 1 in the ufc so yeah, here's my thoughts for this fight. Here's some Jamatra I left here from, you know, the uh, New York, MSG, UFC 281, uh, Israel's Jamatria, and all that. Sheesh, Frankie just got knocked out. Sheesh. Um... But yeah, th there we go. Um, also, um, how how could this fight end? Um, I'm not too sure, man. Um, fighting the fight ending and all that stuff is it can be tricky. Um, Israel is on 48 rounds in the uh, UFC. I mean, if it ended a one round, one that'd be something. 49 days left in a year. Um, But now Alex, Alex Pereira got the, 
66 connection. Israel's on 64 total rounds, including MMA. So maybe round one or two, I don't know. But Israel's, you know, I find I like to play it slow and all that. But yeah, I do believe Israel gets it done, guys. Um, possibly a KO. He hasn't had a KO in what, like two years? But that would be the storyline. Oh, Alex KO'd Israel in kickboxing. Now Israel can return the favor and KO Alex in MMA. So yeah, we'll see what happens. But here's my notes on it. Uh, use your own knowledge and your own thoughts and what you guys think is going to happen. Um, Israel. Let me see. Black Panther Israel. It could be a Black Panther Israel. <laughs> so yeah, let's look at this. Black Panther, Wakata Forever, and there they are. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys.